Today's guest artist is Vicki O'Dell, creative goddess, and she has some really colorful ideas for last minute gifts. Welcome, Vicki. Hi, Katie. So great to have you. Thanks for having me. Of course, and you have great ideas for just making some gifts in 20 minutes or less. I like to make little personalized gifts for my girlfriends as they're, you know, um, achieving milestones or having a birthday. The problem is, I don't always remember their birthday ahead of time. You and me both, sister. <laughs> so it's really great to have some ideas in mind so that I can pull together a nice personalized gift in about 15 or 20 minutes. Oh, that's great. Well, let's take yeah. a look at these lariats. Okay. I love lariats because, as you can see, you can double them like I did with the green one, or you can leave them just one length like I did with the chain. Well, and what's wonderful about that is it fits everybody. You don't exactly. have to worry. It's kind of one size fits all. Right, right. And you can wear it with a number of different necklines, too. Oh, that's a good idea. It's yeah. kind of... Multi-purpose, versatile wear. Right. Yeah, Very good. exactly. Okay, well, what do we need to know to get started? First of all, we're going to start with some metal stamping, uh, which is really easy and a great fun way to personalize jewelry. So it looks like maybe you thought about it weeks in advance and Completely ordered custom. something. Completely yes. custom, right. No, I just made it. So I, we're going to do the best friend necklace. So I have the word best here all pulled out. Um, and... We're gonna use our trusty hammer. Now I've taped the washer that we're going, it's um, a special washer, and we're, I've taped it down so it doesn't move, and I have a sandbag under it so it doesn't make too much noise. And what's special about it is it's made from pewter, so it's a little bit softer, and it really will hold the letters. Right, right. You right. won't get the same effect if you just take a hardware store washer. You need one that's made for jewelry making. Exactly, exactly. So we're gonna start with the S, because it's sort of in the center of the word. You know, I always forget about that. I want to oh, start dear. from left to right, but you always start in the middle. Right, exactly. And that helps you space it out. We just give one tap. And then we move on to the T. And then we start backwards again. We go to the E. And B. Perfect. So then we're going to use this black permanent marker and we're going to fill in oh, moved on me oh, the letters just to make them stand out a little bit and then we'll use the cloth and wipe off any excess marker you want to do that pretty quick so okay, so, use so then a we have polishing cloth to get yes. the extra off. So then we have the word best. That looks great. Now, what if we want to add some pattern along the side? Now, if you want to add pattern, you can do like I did with this washer, and I typed the word boho in there. But then I used the letter V to stamp around the washer so that it made a different pattern. And so you can add texture that way. You could use like a C and make little rounded clouds or whatever. Oh, that's a good idea. So you can sure. use the letters to make interesting color or interesting patterns too. Okay. So then to make the lariat, we'll put that back over there. We're going to take this um, length of leather cording and okay. And I'm going to use a little piece of wire here. Does it matter what gauge you use? Um, no, not small, really. Just like something 22, small 24. and, and kind of soft. Okay. So I'm going to make a right angle and just hold it in there. You can hold it with um, pliers if you want and just wrap around. Okay, so you wrap it over itself. Right. I'm wrapping over the wire and then I'm also wrapping over the um, leather. Okay. So, and then I will bury the end in the back. Yeah, so you want to get it right in between. Yeah, it can be a little tricky to get that in there. It's kind of just like stitching it down. Exactly. We're just going to hide the um, end of the wire. And you want to make sure that you um, clip it off close. Okay. Sometimes I just even bury it in between the two cords. Right. And then so trim it down. I'm going to wrap this around a little bit more. And then trim it. Okay and then trim off the excess cording. Okay. So then we have that end done. So to make this so that it doesn't need a clasp, we're gonna put the um, leather through here, and then I already stamped the word friend on this and added three pieces of chain with a jump ring. So you made a little tassel there at the end yeah, of your chain. Yeah, just that a little quick, good. quick, quick, quick. And then we're gonna push this through here, and just like this side, we're going to do your little rappy rap. Do the little rappy rap. Sounds like a new dance. That's it. 
So again, we're going to do like a little right angle and go around. All right. There are lots of different ways that you can make those attachments too. Right. You could use some cord ends or you could wrap it with other kind of floss or some kind of a smaller, thinner leather or hemp cord. That would be yeah. fun and then you could just some colors. Yeah. Too. And you could just kind of glue it down. Sure. So. But that okay. looks good with the wire. I like the way you tie all the metal together. Oh, thanks. Welcome. So then you don't need a clasp because. Yeah, so your clasp is in the front. Yes. That's all one piece That there. looks great. So then we're gonna create some of the little dangles that we use to finish the bottom. And we're gonna use a little silver bead. You've got your head pin. Mm-hmm, and a little disc, and another silver bead. All okay. right. And then a pair of round nose pliers. And I know there's like a six different ways to That's make right. a simple loop. So I'm just gonna make it real quick. And I keep looking for these and they're right in front of my face. Isn't that the way? Mm-hmm. And then just straighten that out. And then I have some others that I made here and we're gonna add them. I put one at the very end of each of these little dangle bits. And then one just, you know, three or four links up. So. Oh, okay, so you're kind of creating a cascade there on the end of the chain. Right, it just gives it a little weight. Um, and again, a little more color. Right. So add these on. I love these little um, colorful beads. I do too. I was just going to say those dyed halite beads are some really fun ways to add some funky color and they come in so many different shapes too. Sure. And um, the nice thing is that this just goes with every outfit. You know, it's got a little bit of every color in it. Sure does. So no matter what your friend's favorite color is, this will be perfect. That's right, and you could use any kind of cording or you could use a piece of chain. Too. Yes, yes, like I did on that one over there. Um, I did a Mother's Day necklace or lariat. With the pearls. With the pearls, and then each of the little silver discs has the initials of one of my kids on it. Oh, nice. So it says mom, and uh, I think it has a heart on it. It's been a little while since I made it, and it has the initial of each of my children. That is really sweet. Yeah, so that would be a great gift for a grandma, you know, with the initials of all of the yeah. grandkids on it. So you can add as many or as few of these as you want. Then you just keep attaching them to your chain there. Mm-hmm. That looks good. Thanks. Yeah, now what other tips can you give us about metal stamping? Um, good question. I always use a piece of tape to hold down the, the thing that I'm stamping. Um, and you can also use this tape. It's really great to put across the metal. And then when you use your metal stamps and you put the, the letter close to you, but you bring it down and you can feel that catch. Oh, so you can really so stand you can get, a straight line. Yes, yeah, so you can get everything in a nice straight line. Um, and then like we said before, if you have a word that you're doing, you can kind of center it by figuring out if it has seven letters, you're gonna want that middle letter right down the center of it and then you fill out from the other sides. Right, okay, that's a good okay. tip. Yeah. Sure. All right, and let's talk a little bit about customizing other types of things. So it looks like you created a special pendant here. Yes, I actually found this pendant um, in the craft store and it was blue and pink and it was really cool. And then I added these little the uh, metal brass tags. tags. Yeah, they're like little tags for the back of your piece to have your little trademark on or whatever. Oh, right. But I just spelled out the word gypsy and I added them to the, the finished fun. piece. That's yeah. going to make a great focal piece for a necklace. Well, yeah, and it's kind of what everybody else has, but it's not. You personalize it yeah, and make it your own. That's right. You can totally make it your own. Yeah. And then oh, what about keeping your stamps organized? Now, I'm a big fan of just having a jumble on my table. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> Not exactly, but you know. You do, it's good to have them all at the ready. Right. But I, I just have a pile. You have a really great system here for how to keep them organized. This is great because the letters are printed on the case. So then you just put everything right back. Um, and what I tend to do is I pull out all the letters that I will need and I lay them all out like I did before, before B-E-S-T, -E yeah, and I get it all laid out the way I want it. Um, and then, like I said, if we're doing the word friend, you know, we just kind of lay everything out and 
I'll start with the middle and then I'll go this way and then I'll start and go backwards. That way I don't have to think too much sure. about what letter goes next or before. Right. So. And those texturing ideas are really interesting, Vicki. Can you show us a few more? I'd be happy to. Okay. So for this feather, now remember we're going to um, tape things down just so they don't jump around on us. Let's look up for the letter I. All right. And you can see how this sort of has a little line there, but it doesn't go very far. So you can bring it, accent it even more. Yeah, so we're gonna add another line. So you have to pay a little bit more attention to where your um, image is when you're doing this. So we're just gonna add a little more texture to this feather. That looks great. I love feather motifs of all kinds. Yeah, and we can even kind of do one down the center here. Yeah, give it some definition there. Exactly. And when you add your marker too, that would really It really makes highlight. it stand out, yes. Yeah. yeah, so let's see, let's add one more. And let's find our marker. And we can add into some of those. Now the trick about using the permanent marker is that you want to kind of go back and wipe it off quickly before It'll it work fast. And you could do yeah. that in color too. That would be a fun way to bring <gasps> yeah. it to Yeah, you can even do it with like um, acrylic paint. Yes. And that makes it, that gives it a whole other look. So that just looks kind yeah, of antique and, and it has, just has a lot more um, detail than the sure, plain one. It sure does. And now you could also use O's and make kind of an interlocking pattern around. Sure, yeah. Um, again, we're gonna tape this down just to keep it where we want it. And we're gonna find the letter O and let's see what happens when we kind of interlock them or type, you know, put them close together. That one was a little far apart, so I just kind of... Well, it's a fun way to think about your alphabet stamps differently. You know, there are design stamps to stars, hearts, all kinds of different exactly. patterns that you can use, or you could create your own. This just lets you get more mileage out of your metal stamps. Right, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And plus, every piece is going to be custom then. Exactly. So you can just kind of sit here and uh, keep adding to the edges. They can overlap or not, like that. We can even kind of go back in and let's do this one sideways and see what happens. Kind of get a cross hatch there. Yeah, exactly. Cross sign. Very cool. So, and then we can fill that in with some marker again. All right. You know, I think when you're working on a big pattern like that too, it's really smart to just do a part at a time. Exactly, <laughs> yes. And you're highlighting it there, that looks good. And again, like I said, you could use paint. And that's, you know, it doesn't say anything and it doesn't exactly look like anything in specific, but the pattern and the texture adds just a little something extra. Well, it's your handmade touch to all these gifts that you're making, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. Okay, well thanks so much, Vicki. These are some really great ideas and Thank it's been you. fun spending time with you. Thank you.